Tenakoya, and welcome to another Waiheke Media Teacher tutorial. This time a real quick one on uh, how to set up a student resources folder in your Google Drive and how to link it to your Google Classroom. This is something that I pretty much do for every class when I'm planning it. I set up a folder in Google Drive and I'm also setting up at the same time um, my Google Classroom and it's just a kind of a bog standard thing that I do every time so I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's changed a little bit uh, with a new uh, sort of interface to Google Classroom so that might be helpful too if you're used to having a look at the old interface to get a little bit of a, um, an insight onto the new one. Let's jump straight into it. So here's uh, my Google Drive folder, and this is just a folder that I've actually set up for myself. This is for my own resources, my own planning, um, etc. I've got the standards that I'm going to be teaching in there, and it's not uh, accessible to anybody else. But what I do is within that folder, I create this um, student resources folder here and that's the one that I'm going to put resources that I want students to access. Now the important thing about when you create that folder is that you then make it shareable uh, so that when you link it in other places students will have access to it and the easy way to do that is to um, is to go to the share option on right click on the folder and select your particular um, criteria that you need so I I don't want students actually for this folder I don't students don't need to be putting things in there or editing things in there I pretty much just want them to be able to access the materials that are in there so for this folder I'm saying anyone at my school Waiheke High School with the link um, can can view that and I can uh, copy that link there another way to grab that link is um is if you've pulled down the menu uh, the right click menu on the folder you also get this thing that says get shareable link and it actually automatically copies the link for you, so you don't even really have to do much. You just have to print it. You see a little message down there that says uh, copied. So um, that link is, is that, that folder is now created and it's shareable. And any folder that I create within that folder will also be shareable to students. So I've got a couple of internal folders inside that folder. I've got one for the uh, external examination where I'm starting to collect a few resources for them. And then I've got one of my units that I'm planning and they need a few resources in there. Um, so those folders created inside the shared folder also get the same permissions, so they should be accessible to students as well. So I've got my um, I've got my folder uh, copied to my link. Now I'm going to jump over to a new looking Google Classroom and show you where to add that. Google Classroom has changed a little bit. It used to have kind of the about page, etc. When there was a, there was some um, links under there where you could put resources that were going to stick around for a long time but they've changed it up um, now and you now have these three streams or uh, three areas up the top uh, these three tabs and sections that you can work with one is the stream and that's kind of the facebook sort of twitter style stream where messages are appearing students may also have leave comments etc and things that are going on on a daily basis um, links etc that um that are going on will appear also any new assignments would show up in there you've got this classwork um, link which we're going to talk about in the middle and then you've got I think this one existed before uh, the people one uh, this one is shows you who the teachers are you can now also just out of curiosity you can invite multiple teachers as well and this is also where you would add uh, your students so this is the classwork page and this is where uh, a lot of your activity as a teacher is going to go on now the functionality that's now under this create button that used to be under the stream area on the uh, on the you may remember on the right hand side where you added assignments messages etc um, but now a lot of this has been moved under this classwork tab and this is where you will create assignments quizzes this is a new function which uh, jumps out to a Google form so you can create a quiz for your class and the marks are pulled into classroom you can ask the question style uh, but the one we're looking at is this material um, icon here this is what we're going to use to add um, sort of resources to Google Classroom and this is what I'm going to use to add the link to the folder that I've just created so I'm going to hit material and I'm going to give this a title this is my student resources folder and you have an optional description that you can add and I'm going to say a folder for um, For this class, a folder for resources for this class. Um, 
I'm, I've actually created a topic just called resources, um, so I'm going to add that topic. Now, um, you're not, you might think that you go to this Google Drive, but that, that Google Drive icon doesn't actually allow you to add a folder. It only allows you to add items that are within your Google Drive. For, so for this purpose, I'm actually going to create a link. The link has been stored in my clipboard already, so I'm just going to paste it and go add a link. And then I'll post that. And there you go, I now have a link to a student resources folder, and hopefully if I click on that, it'll take me straight into the folder uh, that students need to access for all their resources. Now, some people think that this folder up here, this class drive folder, is where they should put resources. That is actually not uh, a folder that you should use. For, as a teacher, that folder will show you all assignments and things that have been turned in via Google Classroom from students. And for students, it will show them um, resources and assignments which they have added into Google Classroom. So it's it's not something that you can put things in. It's not shareable. It's only accessible to the actual user who's logged into um, to Google Classroom at times. So I kind of tend to just ignore that one. I leave that one pretty much alone. And I create the student resources folder and I share that with students. And I do this pretty much for every single one of my classes when I'm setting them up in, inside Google Drive and then creating a student resources folder for each class putting resources in there and then sharing that with students via um, this new section called Classwork on Google Classroom. Hope that might have helped you a little bit in your, in your planning and your organizing for classes. If you like the video, make sure you give us a like and uh, subscribe for more tutorials on uh, how to use things like Google Classroom, etc. for planning and managing your classroom. Kia kaha.